Good morning year two. Today we're going to carry on reading Fantastic Mr Fox. Now yesterday we read the end of chapter three, chapter four and chapter five. So just remind your grown-ups what happened in those chapters and what was it that you wrote yesterday. Okay, so we're going to carry on. We're going to read chapter six. Now I really want you to be thinking about how the foxes are feeling at this point. Remember they haven't had any dinner, they haven't had any sleep, they've been digging and digging and digging, their home's been destroyed. So think about all those feelings that the foxes might have as we read the next chapter. So chapter six. The race. Now there began a desperate race, the machines against the foxes. In the beginning, the hill looked like this. Don't show the other one. Okay. After about an hour, as the machines bit away more and more soil from the hilltop, it looked like this. So they're digging up loads of the hill. They dug all of that out of the hillside. Sometimes the foxes would gain a little ground and the clanking noises would grow fainter. And Mr Fox would say, we're going to make it, I'm sure we are. But then a few moments later, the machines would come back at them and the crunch of the mighty shovels would get louder and louder. Once the foxes actually saw the sharp metal edge of one of the shovels as it scraped up the earth just behind them. Keep going, my darlings, panted Mr Fox. Don't give up. Keep going, the fat bogger shouted to Bunsen Bean. We'll get him at any moment now. Have you caught sight of him yet? Bean called back. Not yet, shouted Boggis. But I don't think, but I think you're close. I'll pick him up with my bucket, shouted Bunts. I'll chop him to pieces. By lunchtime, the machines were still at it, and so were the poor foxes. The hill now looked like this. The farmers didn't stop for lunch. They were too keen to finish the job. Hey there, Mr Fox, yelled Bunts, leaning out of his tractor. We're coming to get you now. You've had your last chicken, yelled Boggus. You'll never come prowling around my farm again. A sort of madness had taken hold of the three men. The tall skinny bean and the dwarfish pot-bellied bunts were driving their machines like maniacs, racing the motors and making the shovels dig at a terrific speed. The fat boggus was hopping about like a dervish and shouting, Faster! 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 By five o'clock in the afternoon, this is what had happened to the hill. So the hill's almost completely gone now. They've dug all of that up. The hole the machines had dug was like the crater of a volcano. It was such an extraordinary sight that crowds of people came rushing out from the surrounding villages to have a look. They stood on the edge of the crater and stared down at Boggus and Bunsen Bean. Hey there, Boggus, what's going on? We're after a fox. You must be mad. The people jeered and laughed. If they're jeering, it means they're um, making fun, they're shouting things that aren't very kind, they're making fun of them. But this only made the three farmers more furious and more obstinate and more determined than ever not to give up until they had caught the fox. Obstinate means quite stubborn. Okay. Those are all the people watching them. Okay. What I want you to do now is, with your grown-ups, you're going to pause the video and I want you to create a list of all the words and all the adjectives that you could use to describe how the foxes are feeling. Okay, so just pause it now and do that. Okay, so your activity is going to be to write a play script. Now we have done this before. Remember that in a play script, it's all about what the characters are saying. So it's all written through the speech of the characters, what the characters are saying. Okay, so what you might want to do before you do this, you might want to do a little bit of acting with your grown-ups. You might want to um, pretend to be a character and think about how those characters would talk to each other and what they would say. When you look on the home learning planning, there is an example of what this should look like and how it should be laid out. Okay, you can also Google play scripts and just have a little look, but it's all on there. So you should be able to see what it looks like. And I've done a little example. So for example, mine says Mr. Fox, and then I write what Mr. Fox is saying. So Mr. Fox, dig as fast as you can, everyone. Then I've done small fox. What will happen if they catch us? Okay, and then I've carried on a little bit like that. Have a look through the play script, all right, and have a go at writing your own. Off you go.